Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm Cisco CCNA, CCMP and Palo Alto certified instructor. In this video we are covering PCNSA 210 and this is our chapter 6 URL filtering. Now this is the fourth video of chapter 6 which is 6.4 lab URL filtering. So everything that we learned in our chapter 6 we're just going to try and put it on this lab. On this lab we're going to configure, uh, we're going to create a security policy rule with a custom URL category. Well, we already have a security policy rule, but I'm going to edit that and I'm going to create a custom URL category from scratch and I'm going to add it to the security policy rule. We're going to configure an external dynamic list to point to the, um, because we already have a dynamic list on our server, which is located in the demilitarized zone. We're going to configure to for our firewall to access that list and we're going to bring that list into our security policy rule. And we're going to create a security policy rule with URL filtering profile. And as we go, we're going to check, check the log entries. So this is a lab topology that we'll be using to demonstrate URL filtering for you. Um, we have an inside, uh, we have already a security policy rule that allows the inside zone users to access at the outside zone. But what we're going to do is we're going to edit that, but I'm going to clone that actually, and I'm going to create an, a custom URL rule. So custom URL rule that will say if you're trying to access some news sites, for example, we are not going to allow the traffic, right? And we're going to bring that uh, sites into our firewall. Then we have a already in a list here in the Ubuntu server. I have a list of, of websites which users shouldn't be accessing. And we're going to create an external dynamic list, which the user, the, our firewall, is going to check it from Ubuntu server. And it's going to make sure that it's updating all those lists of not allowed websites. Okay, so if I go to the firewall, and I'll show you, there's two places you can actually configure URL filtering, right? So in the you can go to the security policy rule and apply it directly on the security policy rule. So for example, I'll select this into out and uh, you can, it has already a URL category and you can apply it here. You can add all URLs here, but this will become part of security policy rule. Or you, if you already created a profile, then you can add it to the profile setting. That will be added only after the action is set to allow. So I can add a profile and then in profile types, I can put a URL filter in here. Right, I'll show you both methods on this demonstration. So the first thing is we're gonna create an object, custom URL category object, right? So I'll go to objects and we have a custom objects and you have URL category here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a news site that a user shouldn't be accessing. I already have that in my, just created here, notepad. So I created some news sites that sh maybe users shouldn't be accessing. And I'm going to import that into my um, custom URL category. So I go to my firewall and click add. And in here I'm going to just give it a name, so Astrid um, custom URL category or cat category. Then in the production, obviously, you write the description. The type could be a category match, for example, like if I can, I can add different categories, they already downloaded, or I can put a URL list. Now, URL list, you can add them one by one. Or you can just import them. You could write it in the notepad. Maybe you can download different URLs and you can just import them here. So I'll say import and I'm going to browse. It's located on the desktop new sites. Click OK. Now this sites and we're going to set it in our security policy that users they shouldn't be accessing. So I click OK here and I go to my policies and on this policy into out what i'm going to do i'm going to actually clone this policy and i'm going to put the new the clone on the top of it um which is not going to is not going to allow those sites so I'll clone this before the rule 
and on the clone I'm going to edit the name so I'm just going to put um, custom uh, URL for example and on the URL on the URL category tab I'm going to add the one that I just created my custom URL category which is this one here and on the action I'm going to say on this I'm going to reset both the client and the server click OK OK here and then I'm going to commit it and then we're going to go and test it okay now the commit has completed successfully we can go and check it and everything that we do is going to appear under the monitor logs and URL filtering so here and let me just refresh there shouldn't be anything there okay so now to test it I'm going to go to my client machine which is in my inside uh, zone PC so if I show you the lab this is allowed to go to the outside zone and we just created a new security policy rule that it will deny on the news sites so and uh, open a web browser and the first I'm gonna go and check uh, bbc.com for example so I'll put the www.bbc.com and it says okay this web page has been blocked and that's my IP address URL is blocking and the category is blocking it I can check um, other websites for example Fox News and that's going to be the same and I can check the other the other ones as well for example MSN MSNBC for example uh, MSNBC.com whatever we put there it's going to be blocked okay so now I can go to my firewall and under the monitor log URL filtering I'll refresh that and I should have some kind of like a log messages here we go the, the category Astrid custom URL category this is the list the new site is being blocked okay that demonstrates for you that demonstrates for you to create a custom category and apply it in the into security policy rule the next thing is I'm going to create an external dynamic list uh, well we already have a um, external list and that's located on the demilitarized zone server so I have all these for example a live hacker AVS forum and I created astrid.com as well I can create anything you want in there um, so for example to edit it to edit that file um, I can just go to um, the file name is block v block dot list uh, hyphen list dot text and um, I can just insert new new um, domain let me just put for example astrid.local as well okay so if I do again um, cat block dot list hyphen list and now we have all those websites so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create call this is an external list hosted on my demilitarized zone server so I'm gonna call my firewall is gonna call this list but we have to configure an external dynamic list first which is under the object and external dynamic list is here and we already have a dynamic IP list but we can create our, our own one which is I'll click add here and I'm gonna call it Astrid external DL for dynamic list and this is a URL list and the web the IP address of the server if I look in the in the topology is 192.168.50.10 so that's the IP address 192.168.50.10 and it's called block list text right so we can check that on my uh, demilitarized zone server so block list dot text okay and we're gonna check this list every five minutes and click OK now um, now that we have OK there we need to configure a service root configuration so to do that we go to device and setup 
then content I, um, then services then service root configuration and in here we have to customize that to for external list instead of using the management interface we're going to use the interface 1.3 which is the interface so if you look at the topology that's the interface actually going to communicate with the Ubuntu server and click OK OK again now that we have configured service root configuration and we configured external dynamic list under the object we need to apply this into our security policy rule which I go to policies select the security and then say into out again custom URL and under the URL categories I'll put it here so I'll add and you can see the external dynamic list is there as well so I'll click OK and I'll leave the action to reset both the client and server so anything under the external list will be reset both the client and server and you can see on the external list is here this one here okay and I click OK and I commit this and then we'll go and test it okay now the commit has completed successfully we can go and test it and anything will appear under the monitor logs and URL filtering so if I go to my client inside machine and I'll open a new new site I'm um, sorry new new page and I'll type AVS forum.com and you can see this is blocked now but it's from Astrid external DL uh, the ones before that was from the custom URL and this is from external DL and um, we can do other ones so for example lifehacker.com this is blocked as well anything that appears on that list here uh, where did I have it here I can go to the monitor logs and URL filtering and you can see that everything that we did so far for example AVS forum life hacker everything is being now reset for both so we block in the URL the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a URL filtering profile and then we're gonna uh, apply that URL filtering profile but in the policies so if I go to objects and uh, I create a in the security profile we have a URL filtering profile this is we have a default one we can create our new from scratch but we can the best one is to actually clone the default and then edit the clone so clone the default and then I'll go to change the name so I'll call Astrid clone default URL profile and uh, you can see that you can see that already the custom URL is there as well and we can put the external the uh, uh, dynamic list there as well or we can have our own one so for example let's just say on the custom URL and um, for this I want to do um, continue and uh, user credential submission continue and for this I want to override a block for user credential um, now for continue the user has to press continue to access to the next site uh, and for override the user needs to know the password or administrator password so I click the OK here and we're gonna go and create an administrator password for that override option so I'll, to do that I'll need to go to device and then under the setup content ID and then you see I have a URL admin override so I click add and I'll put a password here now if users know this password they can they can access the website the whatever the website has been designed okay let me just fix the password Paolo Alto Paolo Alto okay and as you can see there's two modes you can have a transparent or a redirect redirect you can put the IP address of a website that you want a page to appear or transparent it looks like it's appearing from the whatever site you're trying to access and uh, the next thing is URL filtering the times so 
you see the timeout for dynamic cache, how many hours, the timeout for continue. So if for somebody press continue once, they don't need to press it again. Everything else will be continued. So let me put this to reduce into a minute. Override option. So once you put a password once, how many times you need to pass put the password if you go to a different website? Click one. And then uh, if the timeout lockout time uh, for admin lockout, for example, the wrong password, how many? And if we have a different internal web server, database server, click, click OK. And um, OK, so I'm going to I'm going to apply these on our policies. So the policy that I created, the custom URL, this I'm going to disable. And I'm going to apply filtering profile in the normal in to out. So let me put this above and I'll apply that in there. And this will be applied under, no here, URL category, but it will be applied under the action. And uh, after the allow traffic, we, we apply the profile settings, which is profiles, and then URL filtering is here. Okay. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit that, and then we can go and check it. Okay, now the committed has completed successfully, we can go and check it. And as you can see here, it shows that we are applying URL filtering profile. Now, the idea is the new sites, these ones, it should have continue option. And uh, the sites that are located here, like for example, AVS forum and so on, uh, AVS forum and uh, life hacker and so on, they should be able to have the um, continue uh, with a override password, right? Okay, so new sites continue AVS forum with a password. Let's just go and check it. So I'll refresh this. See now, I have a continue option. I can press continue, and I will can I can uh, I can access it. If I press continue here, now these sites will will do continue, but they will automatically for a minute. I don't need to press continue again. They will just work. It's like I press continue. There you see. And same for this as well. If I wait one minute, I'm going to have to press continue again. This site, um, see this one is working now. All these are working. This site, uh, AVS forum, we now we should have the password, not continue. So if I refresh this, Now it says uh, your connection is not private. Um, advance in there. Proceed to that website. And now you say you can see it says you need to put the password to continue. And uh, if I do, I, I will be able to access that. And the password was Palo, um, the administrator password, auto, and continue. And now for the other websites, for example, Lifehacker and so on, if I refresh this, this is just going to automatically for a minute, I change the timer, yeah? For one minute, it's going to just continue for me. And, um, okay, so I can go there to check the uh, log. So monitor, logs, URL filtering, and then I'll update. Well, it's updating now. You can see the Lifehacker AVS forum, for example, it's overwrite. We had the and this one block override and continue. For example, for a news, um, and we had to press continue for BBC and so on, Fox News and so on. That that was a demonstrating for you to configure URL filtering through security profiles. Thank you for watching lesson 6.4, lab URL filtering. This is of chapter 6, URL filtering. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnici. Bye-bye.